All right, so we've adjusted the height of our layers and we fixed the anchor points so that they're at the bottom of the layers. That way they'll rotate and scale from the bottom axis. And now we've got to start moving them in 3D space. Now this is going to be really hard to do um, considering that it's basically going to be pulling it towards us when we're working with the two-dimensional screen. So what we need to do is we need to actually be able to see this from a couple different angles. To do that, you're going to go down here to the bottom of your composition panel. You're going to switch it from one view to two views, horizontal. And if you've ever worked in um, 3D programs before, you've probably seen, or just seen other people work in 3D programs, you've probably seen multiple screens up at the same time. Um, usually they have like four screens because when you're modeling, it, it's helpful to see it from multiple angles at the same time. Uh, since this is a little bit simpler system of 3D, usually two views will work out pretty well for you. So uh, we're going to have our active camera view always open on one side, and that's going to be what the um, current camera is seeing. And then on this side, we're going to be switching through what's called our orthographic views. Um, so click over here, and you'll see that your um, view will actually become highlighted with these blue triangles in the corner. And down here, next to where we switched it to two views, this is going to allow us to change what view we're looking at. Uh, right now, mine's set on the left. Okay. So the way this is broken up is you have your cameras at the top here. Then you have what's called your orthographic views. Orthographic views are two-dimensional views. They don't show perspective, and they only show two dimensions at one time, either x, y, uh, y, z, or x, z. And then you have some custom 3D views, which can be helpful if you need to pan around your objects if something's hiding below something else. So what we want to do is we're going to switch our uh, orthographic view to be the top view. And that'll show all of our layers from the top. And since they're all um, basically two-dimensional layers, you know, we're just seeing this really thin line, which is like looking at the top of a piece of paper. So let's go ahead and start with our cars. And what you want to do is you want to move it in your orthographic view, but you want to um, kind of watch in your active camera view what's happening. So let me zoom out just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to slide our cars forward until that they, they go back to where they were before, which is right off the sidewalk and onto the street again. So in your top view, if you look really closely, you should see a little blue handle. And you're going to click and drag down on that. While you're dragging down, keep an eye on your active camera view. And you want to make it so that your cars slide off the sidewalk a little bit. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing for our tables. We'll select our tables layer. We'll grab this blue handle. And this one's not going to go as far forward. The tables are just going to be a little bit in, fro in front of the uh, front buildings. So about right there looks good. Then you're going to grab your back buildings. Let me go up a little bit, pan out. And this time you're going to push it up. Pushing it up is going to push it further away. I'm going to go about right there. That'll give me enough dimension between our front and our back building so that when the camera is moving through, we can really see a difference. Okay. We created a small problem for ourselves here. Uh, because this is moving further away, it looks like the buildings are shrinking as well. And so we're seeing the edge of the buildings now, which we don't want to see. The simple solution to this is we just need to scale it back up. So I'm going to select my back buildings, hit S to get my scale property, which we now have three values. They're still all linked together though. And I'm just going to increase it until it fills the screen again. Um, you want to look at where it fills the screen on the left and right edges. That's really where you're uh, trying to pay attention to this. And you can even go a little bit beyond that. You know, As long as it gets to at least the edge of the screen, you're good. Now, when our, we brought our cars forward, they got a little bit big, too. So we're going to select those and scale them down a bit. Just scale them down until they look like properly sized cars again. If you want to, you can also move them over so they're a little bit more centered. That actually looks much better. All right, good. All right, so now we've got our um, four 3D layers set up in 3D space. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at how to set up a 3D street and sidewalk setup.